happens between you know two people it's okay but if it happens from top to down it's it's scary so one more surprise what uh, manager ceo found that it's also kind of chaotic you kind of try to send the message and then you found that they receive just totally different message people are around you act in ways that indicate that you're that they are trying to anticipate your likes and dislike you see they they perceive you as somebody who establish rules of the game and if you do this if you uh, kind of accept this role they, anyway they do ex, uh, um, expect you to do this so this is your role if you don't do this um, deliberately it still kind of works they, they make it up they make it up they kind of observe your behavior and believe ah oh, these guys this guy likes this okay this is what we are supposed to do so to avoid this first of all accept that it happens that it's internal environment it's very much unpredictable and out of your control and second try to do something and what actually uh you have to do it's our class is about next and next class is about surprise number five you are not the boss and we say now we talk about uh the ceo because even for the ceo uh board of directors still roles and uh the problem is that roles office and responsibility the board members are not clear and management are not clear who is in charge for what what are relations between the board members and you and your managers and uh, you understand that you have to satisfy their needs you have to work for them they are kind of your bosses and your clients you you're okay with this but you don't have enough directions maybe or you don't know what they expect and even board meetings are limited mostly for reporting on results and management decisions instead of discussions instead of discussion instead of reflections of what to do you, you just don't have anybody who to discuss with all these frustrations of surprise number one to number four they expect you to do something and report on decisions and surprise number six uh shareholders people who kind of own your company and you work for them on the one hand and of course you want to do your you want to do your best for them at the same time you have to understand this balance and if you try to please shareholders and analysts you fail again it's unpredictable they don't uh, they don't see the large picture they don't see your big goals they don't see the strategy of the company they care only about deal today they care only about the stock price that's why it's one more like always pressure on you and it's very much unpredictable and it's very much you know stock what's going on sometimes is just it's one of one of the most famous example of chaos was going on stock market something happened in china and we have this today something happened in taiwan and we pay this price here uh, so you cannot manage all this you know stock price of course you keep in mind that this is your priority but it's not what is supposed to rule you so I believe I scared you enough and I showed you that just it's it's me it's me that we can control the situation outside of the company or inside of the company the reality is that uh, your organization it's like a living system it's like you know like population of you know something in nature and of course you you do you manage this but it still have their own rules of life and uh, outside of the company it's even more uh, out of your control so and I believe I say this because I want you to accept this
And this is hard. And this is hard. This is why this class is here. And this is why I decided to make this class and I started my research uh, on this. And I do my papers now on these um, issues because it's the situation we are very much uncomfortable with. Me too. And I, I believe you too. So it's nothing what we really like. We like predictable war, world. We like, you know, understandable situation. We, we are ready to help, to work really hard. If we see the uh, goal and we see the way from point A to point B, we are very much ready to work hard. But what we pray for, it's like understanding at least what's going on. And we don't have this luxury opportunity right now. So we have to find some another way to deal with this. So we have to be ready for change. Oh, and surprise number seven. Actually, it's my favorite one. You are just human. It's interesting that you do, you're professional, yeah? You're professional. You do, you have so many, I uh, you know, great ideas and strategies, etc., etc. But people hear more about your wife your husband, your children, your, you know, just your jokes, your, they, they care about you. They care about you. The second is, uh, you have to protect your private life. Or maybe not, I don't know, it's your choice, but majority of CEOs, they do, they like it. Anyway, protect or not protect, but you have to accept that you're still human. You cannot be perfect. You cannot be just, you know, always excellent. You are on spot always. And uh, again, Porter provides, uh, Michael Porter provides <laughs> great example that after um, one of local newspaper publishes uh, income of CEO of these regions, the son of one of the uh, CEOs came to his father, just please explain me, uh, you know, what it means and how we are going to spend this money. So sometimes you are not ready to discuss some questions with some people, but, you know, it's your choice to be a celebrity and you become a celebrity. So accept this, accept this. Uh, and this is a picture which, again, Harvard Business Review, this uh, publication provides, and it's just, you know, a little bit breaking our class. And uh, so the um, sign here is um, in all favor of putting the sales staff on performance engineering drugs. It's kind of, you know, <laughs> it's just a funny picture what's going on for uh, on top level, and sometimes it's too fuzzy and too frustrative and too, you know, weird to be ready for. So let's learn how to live with this. So formula, formula. As I already told, formula of uh, leading at the age of chaos includes first, yes, I hope I, uh, I prove my uh, point that in this situation, the best way for us is to accept this change and to be ready for them. That's it. So just to understand that it's yes, it's reality. And be ready for change management and uh, to help your people be ready for change management. Second is chaos management and the thought is uh, learning from adaptive and uh, understanding and learning from adaptive system. And actually all this class is, and all this approach it's kind of, you know, in our high, maybe not middle school, I believe I studied a uh, Newtonian approach in middle school. So it established our kind of point of view. Yeah, because it's deterministic. If, it, if it's A, then B. If it's B, then C. So it's Newtonian approach. And it's very much kind of engineering, you know, techno approach to management. So Newtonian approach in physics very much affected our understanding of how organization operate. And now it shifts to a um, more organic approach. It's less structured, less uh, techno approach, less engineering approach. It used to be that the best um, business major, uh, the, the best students in, uh, not students, the best CEO in business 
uh, way of with um, background in engineering because the kind of 